There's lots to get to. Let's get to it. First, obviously, we have to talk about the cabinet shuffle. The cabinet shuffle indicates that they know, they being the federal liberals, Justin Trudeau and the people who are surrounding him, know that there's a problem. The economy is is not doing well. The economy is is inflating at a rate that is uncomfortable for most people. And most people don't like that. Most people don't feel like their job is giving them enough cushion, enough buying power, enough whatever. The groceries and the rent is taking up all their money. And that's out of the norm for can- Canadians. So they're upset about that. People are upset about that. Housing is not affordable. People are upset about that. Im- immigration is out of control. People are upset about that. And so all of these things are coalescing to the liberal response of shuffling the cabinet. But it's akin to rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic because the ship is going down because these people have created these problems. These problems didn't exist until these people came in and said, Stephen Harper's really bad and we can fix it. And that sounded more like Pierre Polyev, didn't it? Um, But they came in accusing Stephen Harper of doing a bad job during a whole bunch of challenging years with regards to 2008 meltdown um, and all sorts of spending on behalf of the government, which is, I, I mean, Harper signed us up to the 2030 agenda, so he's no saint either. But at the same time, um, he managed the economy better than better than these liberals, that's for sure. But they came in on a promise of doing better than Harper. So it's interesting how terrible they're, they're doing. They don't have the talent, and so they're moving talent around, and it's not going to help. But I mean, maybe people will think that it's going to change something. It's not going to change anything. A lot of the, a lot of these people were doing what Justin Trudeau was telling were telling them to do, um, either officially or unofficially through back channels and aids and all the rest of it. Who knows, right? So let's get into the cabinet shuffle. Petrified COVID parent says it's perfectly normal for seven ministers to quit cabinet and also announce they aren't running for re-election all at the exact same time. Nothing to see here. Ha, huh, right? Uh, I thought it was eight so far. Lametti, Fortier, Mendicino, Murray, Jazek. I don't even know Helena Jazek. Caroline Bennett, uh, Bennett, Omar Agabra, and Bill Blair. Bill Blair is moved to Cabinet of Defense. That's, that's who's, he's moving, but he's not out, right? So yeah, there's a whole bunch. Tracy says seven ministers out, and then she names them. Uh, new roles for many, including Rodriguez. He's moving from heritage to transport. Um, Pascal saint Ong is moving from sport to heritage. So now he's going to be in charge of censoring the internet and or fixing the screw up that Pablo Rodriguez created with Bill C-18 and had the news completely blocked by Google and Facebook, which hilarious self-goal, right? Hilarious. Um, Anand is out of defense. Bill Blair is in. Anand shuffled to Treasury Board. This is a major demotion. It is huge demotion. If you're a cabinet minister, then being uh, moving to the Treasury Board, mm, wah, wah. Marco Holland moves from the House Leader into the Health File. Fresh faces coming in, and these are a bunch of people that I don't actually know any of their names. So which isn't really all that surprising, um, will update as news rolls in. So that's what's going on with the cabinet shuffle. That's the major players that I've heard so far. Sloan says, this one's funny. I'm And, and it's got the SS liberal sinking. There you can see. And uh, everybody, all the rats jumping ship saying, I'm leaving to spend time more time with my family, right? Just before you get that plum position at RBC, right? Scott Bryson, or was it Bank of Montreal? It was Bank of Montreal, Scott Bryson. Here's a meme of Marco Mendicino, and he says, I've got, I got demoted. <laughs> yep. yep, he sure did. Steven Taylor says, there are two reasons for a large cabinet shuffle. One, large reset for a troubled government. Two, election is coming. One applies, does two? Maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. Here's CTV News reporting nearly the entirety of cabinet will be new or in roles after or in new roles after Wednesday's shuffle. So this is happening this morning at 1030. So it happens after the show today. Um, So I'll tell you all the firm details tomorrow. But I think usually at this point in time, the die is cast, right? Like Trudeau's informing the ministers. They'll have a little ceremony, a song and dance cabinet meeting. Um, and, And so... I think this is probably pretty accurate. There may be some details that are missing, but I don't think there's going to be any big surprises or anything like that. Like he's not going to get rid of Freeland or something like that, even though he should. I'm not endorsing the decision. I'm just telling you about it. Don't shoot the messenger. Nearly, CTV News says, nearly the entirety of cabinet will be in new or in new roles after Wednesday's shuffle. 
nearly the entire, I'm going to read it again. In what is shaping up to be the sizable shakeup of this front bench, seven ministers are confirmed to be leaving cabinet, opening up spots for new faces, while the majority of current members of the prime minister's front bench are expected to be moved, according to a senior government source. CTV News has confirmed that in addition to the four cabinet ministers that have announced they will be bowing out of federal politics before the next election, Public Safety Minister Marco Mendicino, Justice Minister Lumetti, uh, Treasury Board President Mona Fortier will be leaving cabinet. Transport Minister Algebra, Fisheries and Oceans Minister Joyce Murray, Public Services and Procurement Minister Helena Jacek, and Mental Health and Addiction Minister Carolyn Bennett have all said they won't be running again and they will be losing their positions in cabinet as part of this shuffle. The four ministers set to hold on to their current jobs are Christia Freeland, Minister of Innovation, Science and Industry, Philippe, Francois Philippe Champagne, Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie and Environment Climate and si Climate Environment and Climate Change Minister Stephen Gobo. None of these are good. Melanie Jolie is kind of an ongoing joke. Like it's a it's an ongoing gag in the international press, isn't it? I thought that that's I thought everybody understood that. And uh, Foreign Affairs, excuse me, Climate Change Minister Stephen Gobo. People don't like what he's doing either. Fundamentally, they don't believe what they don't believe the carbon tax is working. The carbon tax is adding to inflation, so that's bad fiscally. There's a whole lot of things that are wrong with the environment and climate change file. So keeping Gelbo is, I mean, how is he seen as a high performer? How is, how is Christia Freeland seen as a high performer? Look at the state of our economy. It's what, like, unbelievable. And they'll, they'll say, they'll point to the markets and say, look at the, other, the rest of the G7, blah, 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 blah. But I, I don't know that that's a legitimate argument if everybody's trying to sabotage their own countries and and hamstring themselves for climate rules and the wef and all the rest i don't, I don't know that um this is a legitimate argument back to this defense minister anita anand is one of the few ministers ctv news had learned would be getting a new gig moving into an economic focused portfolio at treasury board this will leave the key role of defense minister to be taken on by bill blair sources have confirmed he will be taking on this high-profile international role amid the ongoing war in Ukraine and continued to and continued defense spending pressures. With the liberal minority roughly midway into its current mandate, this shuffle is being framed as an attempt by the minority liberals to reset their messaging and fortifying, as well as the well-placed source put it, what Trudeau already considers a strong economic team. Strong economic team. Here is just some stats from the conservative side. This is Michael Barrett, and he is the sh member of parliament or granville thousand islands i thought he was a shadow minister but maybe he's not anymore um, justin trudeau and his finance minister brag about their failures while people struggle to pay more for food and double for housing how incredibly out of touch do you agree that canadians deserve better this is trudeau's crack financial team okay that he's very happy with i guess since one year ago rent prices are up 5.8 percent food prices are up nine percent mortgage interest is up 30 percent yet trudeau's finance minister christia freeland is bragging about her record on inflation Yowza, right? That's pretty out of touch. Very out of touch, if you ask me. CTV News says ocean water hits hot tub temperatures off Florida coast. So hold on, just before we get into the hot tub temperatures. The out of touch cabinet is coming face to face with the reality of a public that is saying, you people are bonkers. We don't want what you're selling. Please stop. Please, please stop. And instead of stopping... They're shuffling the cabinet, but it's not going to be effective in solving the problems because the problems aren't the people in the cabinet. The problems are the policies themselves. And I think the policies themselves come from Trudeau. And I think that fundamentally, when it comes down to are these policies something that's beneficial to Canada? Are these policies something that people will get used to over the long term? No, they're not beneficial. No, I don't think people will get used to them. I think that we need to stop pretending like putting money through a bureaucratic washing machine somehow enhances the money. Like if you take a hundred dollars and then you put it through a couple of layers of bureaucracy and hand it back as $80 in tax refund, that doesn't help anybody. You've stolen $20 to put it through a bureaucratic washing machine, right? Like you've put it through this bureaucratic rigmarole to steal $20 from me. And that's really all that this is. And people understand that. And people are not happy with, the interest rate being up, the people are not happy with the interest rates and, and the inflation on food, right? People are not happy on the inflation on rent. And all of these things are directly traceable problems back to bad policy, 
championed by these liberal idiots. So, so I don't think shuffling the cabinet is going to fix any of the problems because the problems really aren't the problem of the ministers. It's the problem of this government. The government is purposely incompetent, it looks like, and they're trying to continue the plan of bringing in a whole bunch of people from foreign countries and making life more expensive in Canada to make sure that Canadians' birth rate reduces. I'm not entirely sure exactly why or, or whatever the goal is, but that's what happens when, when housing and stuff is, is expensive, then people don't feel secure. If you don't feel secure, then you don't have babies, right? And that's, that's just what happens. And so why is our government hell-bent on, it seems, harming Canadians and helping foreigners. It seems like they're focused on the wrong group of people, right? It just, it just does. And a cabinet shuffle isn't going to fix any of those problems. So um, the problem is the policies. And if, until we fix that, then we're not going to get a solution to what ails our country. And I hope that we can solve these problems because Canada is such a nice country. Hello everyone, thanks very much for watching. This is just a short version of a longer show. If you'd like to get the whole show, you can go over to canadapoly.com and sign up for a subscription. Just look in the drop down tab for shop and donate and look for subscriptions and you'll get immediate access to the full show. Love to see you. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful.